So Greensboro, Alabama is the most unlikely destination, you know, for a martial arts event because, well, there are no martial arts schools around here. But what draws us to the community is this kind of uh, cutting-edge, avant-garde uh, design uh, crew that, that works out of this area. They're architects, designers, artists, and uh, they're using their skills to benefit the town. And I think that they're that having martial arts instructors come in and work around these people and see how they operate and how they develop projects with very little budget and a lot of creativity and innovation uh, is something that every martial arts school should benefit from and could benefit from. So when we come here, we kind of have an experiential lesson in, you know, cultivating small businesses, uh, projects that benefit a community, and we get to see uh, people who are doing a lot with very little uh, in action, and we get to help them, you know, which is good. I want every instructor who comes to this project to go back to their community and look for the artists and designers and activists in their community because we bring a labor force to this kind of stuff, you know, that, uh, that is, would be unparalleled. A bunch of disciplined martial arts people, yes and no, with positive attitudes, and that's kind of what this group brings to the Alabama Project every year, and then I hope takes home and puts to work there.